Hello everybody and welcome back to another Starfield video. Today, I have a location that probably not a lot of people have found because it is in a far area, far planet away from the main kind of central systems. So it is super cool and let's just honestly get to checking it out. So real quick, obviously, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good jazz. We're going to go crazy once Creations comes out. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so to find this in the star map is going to be pretty simple. From the Alpha Centauri system, you're going to have to head to the right until you see the Porama system. And from the Porama system, you're going to want to go to its right. And it makes it really easy because you can just head to the right until you see these systems right here the Alpha, Beta, and Proxima Turnian systems. Now, you're going to want to go to the Beta Turnian system, and specifically, you're going to want to go to the first planet right here. Now, when you go to this planet, you're going to see the Reliant Medical Organics Lab. That is where we're heading, so go ahead and set your course. Now, once you land there, you're going to realize something a little weird. Some of the enemies that are fighting around this place are vampires. Yeah, you kind of heard me right. It is vampires. Now, vampire bats to be more specific, but their name is vampires, so we're just going to keep calling them vampires because it just sounds way better. Now, once you enter the place, you're going to find this kind of abandoned, rundown, uh, well, organic slab because it's covered in plants. And... There is a pretty good story to this place. It, well, it kind of explains why it's so overgrown. So you can definitely go ahead and read and see how all this stuff, you know, there is a ton of mystery around with slates, you know, uh, terminal entries and all that. So definitely go around and look at it. There's a ton of pink vase succulents. So, you know, if you're trying to make a collection, be my guest 100%. So much loot to grab and miscellaneous items to, you know, take and steal and, I mean, you know, borrow. And so much to explore. The lighting is really good in this place because of the latest updates. And it is honestly amazing. Now, this place is infested with bugs. So you are definitely going to have to kind of clear things out, you know. But once you do, man, the reward is worth it because of just the view of this place alone. It is amazing. And there is also a bunch of secret little areas in here that, you know, most of them require lock picks or digi picks, I should say. But there is a bunch of really nice looking secrets in here and things to go and find. So this place is going to probably take you a good hour or two hours if you don't rush it to explore this entire place. Clear the enemies out and kind of just have some fun. Go explore this place, you know. Now, I don't want to show you every little single detail because obviously I want you guys to be able to go here and explore it for yourselves, see the place, discover its full little story, and just have a good time checking this place out. Now, I don't want to spoil every little thing, so I'm going to show you things like this, like the cool plants that you can find out and about all neon and really neat and everything because it adds to the place and the reason that you should obviously go here. And of course, while you're finding the story within, you'll be able to do cool things like this flip the switch and turn the power on and find a whole bunch of new things because it's lit up and the place looks different more beautiful and everything it is entirely worth it so the reasons why to go here now here is the the kind of your reasoning when you reach the end of your little quest here, you will find a magazine. I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but if it is, this is the magazine you will get that increases your unarmed damage. And that means it is a magazine. I mean, why would you not want a magazine, right? And you will also get some loot from the chest here. So you could potentially get, honestly, some good loot. Obviously, it's a bit random, but you very much could. And there's a little garden bot here to brighten up the day. And of course, once you're done checking out this entire place, which just honestly, yet again, looks amazing. And whenever you're done doing what you're doing with it, whether it's starting to turn it into your very own house, because technically once it's cleared out, what stops you from coming over here? There is a bed in this place. There is a whole kitchen area and everything. So what is really stopping you from actually claiming this place as your own home? And if you want to decorate it, you can drop miscellaneous items and do so. But 
we're just going to skip past that idea, but I just want to give you that, that idea. So, obviously, a gateway to the exit will open, and that will allow you to leave this place. But, man, oh, man, I love these pre-built places that you can explore. That's, like, the best part of Starfield, in my honest opinion, is when you find these really cool places that are pre-built and not just the randomly generated ones that have, like, a full-fledged story about the place. It is so awesome to discover, and I really hope Bethesda that gives us more once shattered space releases and creations so with all that being said that's the end of the video i hope you guys have so much fun going and checking out this place let me know how it goes how many times did you guys die to vampires i have to know so comment down below how many times you die to vampires and uh yeah so with all that being said if you like this video subscribe comment share like all that good jazz we're gonna go crazy once creations comes out so it is going to be a blast. And with all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, I will see you in the Starfield.